This is the sailor on the flow of time. This is world matters, slow discovery. Who launched into this small corporeal birth has learned his craft in tiny bays of self, but there's at last unplumbed infinitudes, a voyager upon eternity's seas. In his world adventures crude initial star, behold him, ignorant of his goddess force, timid initiate of its vast design. An expert captain of a fragile craft, a trafficker in small, impermanent wares, at first he hugs the shore and shuns the breads, dares not to affront the far-off, perilous main. He in a petty coastal traffic lies. His pay doled out from port to neighbor port, content to the safe rounds, unchanging course. He hazards not the new and the unseen. But now he hears the sound of larger seas. A widening world calls him to distant scenes, and journeys in a larger vision's arc, and peoples unknown and still unvisited shores. On a commission key, his merchant hull serves the world's commerce in the reaches of time, severing the form of a great landlocked sea to reach unknown harbor lights in distant climes, and open markets for life's opulent arts. Rich bales, carved statuettes, huge canvases, and jeweled toys brought for an infant's play, and perishable products of hard toil, and transient splendors won and lost by the day or passing through a gate of pillar rocks, venturing not yet to cross oceans unnamed, and journeying into a dream of distances. He travels close to unfamiliar course, and finds new heaven in storm-troubled isles, or guided by a sure compass, in his thought, he plunges through a bright haze that hides the stars, steering on the trade routes of ignorance. His prow pushes towards undiscovered shores. He chances on unimagined continents. A seeker of the islands of the blessed, he leaves the last lands, crosses the ultimate seas. He turns to eternal things, his symbol quest. Life changes for him, its time-constructed scenes, its images veiling infinity. Earth's borders recede. And the terrestrial air hangs round him, no longer its translucent veil. He has crossed the limit of mortal thought and hope. He has reached the world's end and stares beyond. The eyes of mortal body plunge their gaze into eyes that look upon eternity. A greater world, time's traveler, must explore. At last he hears a chanting on the heights, and the far speaks, 
and the unknown grows near. He crosses the boundaries of the unseen and passes over the edge of mortal sight to a new vision of himself and things. He is a spirit in an unfinished world that knows him not and cannot know itself. The self is symbol of his goalless quest takes deeper meanings to his inner being. His is a search of darkness for the light, of mortal life for immortality. In the vessel of an earthly embodiment, over the narrow rails of limiting sense, he looks out on the magic waves of time, where mind like a moon illumines the world's dark. There is limit, ever retreating from his eyes, as if in a tenuous, misty dream-like draw, the outline of a deep, mysterious soul. A sailor on the inconstant, fathomless sea, he voyages through a study world of thought, on matters death to a spiritual sun. Across the noise and multitudinous cry, across the rapt, unknowable silences, through a strange mid-world under supernal skies, beyond earth's longitudes and latitudes, his goal is fixed outside all present maps. But none learns whither through the unknown he sails, or what secret mission the Great Mother gave. And in the hidden strength of her omnipotent will, driven by her breath across life's tossing deep, through the thunder's roar and through the windless hush, through fog, and miss where nothing more is seen, he carries a sealed orders in his breast. Late will he know, opening the mystic script, whether to a blank port in the unseen he goes, or armed with a fiat to discover a new mind and body in the city of God and enshrine the immortal in his glorious house, and make the finite one with infinity. Across the salt waste of the endless years, our ocean winds impel his errant boat, the cosmic waters plashing as he goes, the rumor around him, and danger, and a call. Always he follows in our forces' way. He sails through life and death and other life. He travels on through waking and through sleep. A power is on him from our occult force that ties him to his own creation's fate. And never can the mighty traveler rest and never can the mystic voice of sea Till the nation dusk is lifted from man's soul and the morns of God have overtaken his night. As long as nature lasts, he too is there. For this is sure that he and she are one. Even when he sleeps, he keeps her on his breast. Whoever leaves her, he will not depart, to repose without her in the unknowable. There is a truth to know, a work to do. Her play is real, a mystery he fulfills. There is a plan in the mother's deep world whim, a purpose in her vast and random game. This ever she meant, 
since the first dawn of life. This constant will she covered with a spoon to evoke a person in the impersonal void. With the truth light strike earth's massive roots of trance. Wake a dumb self in the inconstant depths and raise a lost power from its spike and sleep, that the eyes of the timeless might look out from time, and the world manifest the unveiled divine. For this he left his white infinity, and laid on this spirit the burden of the flesh, that God is seed might flower in mindless 